I am Anil Kumar, sharing with you some interesting questions based on fractions. We are also learning strategies to solve such word problems. The question here is, about three-fifths of the students in the camp are girls. Based on this information, we have four examples. What fraction of students are boys? B. Find the number of girls in the camp if there are 35 students. C. Find the number of boys if there are 15 girls. D. About three-fourths of the girls are from grade 8. What fraction of students are girls from grade 8? You can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay. About three-fifths of the students in a camp are girls. So basically, we have combinations of girls plus boys and we have students. Right? That is what we have to keep in mind. It says, what fraction of students are boys? We know three-fifths of students are girls. So we know this is three out of five. Is that okay? So out of five, three are girls. How many are boys? Well, clearly, two-fifths are boys. Correct? So we kind of get three-fifths are girls, two-fifths should be boys, right? Other way could be, we're talking about one whole, right? Which are the number of students. So you could do one minus three out of five. Now one means five out of five minus three out of five, and that is two out of five. So that way is also you can do. So learning how to take away fractions from a whole number helps you to solve this question. B. Find the number of girls in the camp if there are 35 students. Well, we know 3 fifth of. Of means multiplication, right? So of means to multiply. So 3 fifth of 35 are girls. So we do 3 fifth means 3 out of 5. And the term of means multiply 35. Correct. So, so 3 fifth times 35. So that is 5 goes 7 times and you get 21. Right? How do we get 21? You can divide both by 5. So 5 goes 7 times. 7 times 3 is 21. Right? So we have 21 girls. Correct. So, out of 35, we have 21 girls. Rest are boys. Find the number of boys if there are 15 girls. Now, this is a different question. Which says, find the number of boys if we have 15 girls. Well, we just learned that 3 fifths of the students are girls. So, 15 are girls, how many are boys? So, how can we figure this out? So, we know out of students, we have the ratio of girls to boys as 3 is to 2, right? So, if there are 3 girls, then there are 2 boys. Here, we have 15 girls. So, how many boys? That is the question for you. We have 15 girls, we need to figure out how many boys. Well, if you look into ratios, then it is times 5, correct? 5 times 3 is 15, and therefore, times 5 should give you 2 times 5 as 10 boys. Does it make sense to you? So that is an easy way of finding out how many boys, if we know how many girls are there, and we know the ratio of girls to boys. 3 is to 2, right? 3 out of 5, 2 out of 5. So the ratio is 3 is to 2. Does it make sense to you, right? So basically we are saying that if we have a ratio of girls to boys to students, it is 3, 2, right? Which is equal to 5. So we worked on this ratio to get the solution. Okay. Part D. About three-fourths of these girls are from grade 8. What fraction of students are girls from grade 8? So this is related to what is given to us, right? Don't forget that. 
So what we are given here is three fifth of students in a camp are girls, right? So three fifth are girls. About three fourth of these are from grade eight. So times three by four. So we get what? Three times three is nine and five times four is 20. So what fraction of students are girls from grade eight? Nine over 20 is the fraction of girls from grade eight. Is that clear to you, right? So that is how we can answer this particular question. Now the alternate method would have been we're talking about out of five and out of four so we can think about a number 20 and then work out how many are girls and what is three-fourth of those many girls you get the idea right so if we start with a number of 20 right then three-fifth of means three by five of 20 is what so five goes four times so that means there are 12 girls right now out of 12 girls three fourth are from grade 8 so we are saying 3 by fourth of 12 which is 9 girls do you see that so we started with 20 so 9 out of 20 we got so that is the second way of looking into the solution of this question so I hope this strategy is clear. So there are always more than one way to solve a question. Feel free to adopt the way or the method which suits you. I hope one of them works. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and also look into more videos in this playlist to master these techniques. Thanks for your time and all the best.